guys, welcome back to Big Old Channel, where there's a lesson to be learned in every single video. So, so, <laughs> I had to share this quick story with everybody, right? I'm actually right now waiting for a site to open up, you know, it's like 8 something in the morning, the site opens up at 9 o'clock, but, but real quick, right? I had a hey stranger moment. If you don't know what hey stranger season or hey stranger moment is, check out the link, it should be popping up in the video. In a nutshell, hey stranger is when you get a text, a phone call, a DM from somebody who either wants attention, validation, sex, whatever. But, you know, it's November, so you know a lot of us are going to start getting a hey stranger. So anyway, <laughs> I got a hey stranger yesterday. You know, I was feeling good. You know, just got paid. I was chilling, you know what I'm saying? So long story short, uh, long story short on my car, on a dashboard it popped up i'm driving and when it pops up it automatically bluetooth hit, kicks in and i saw the phone number was 917 but i didn't know the, i didn't recognize and it, the name didn't pop up so i said good morning who's this they said who they were and i was like oh hey how you doing so she was like oh you know i was thinking about you you know you such a cool guy and da, da, da. and i said you know you know how you doing i said i'm doing good no complaints really what's going on chilling so then she was like, <laughs> you know, um, my son and I was thinking about you. And I was just like, thank you. Okay. Um, and then I told her, you know, I have love in my heart for you and your son. But whatever you're looking for, it's just not going to happen. Lord have mercy. She went off into a tangent. She was just like, oh, da, 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 da. And you know, and, and I expect more from you, man. I thought we were friends. I mean, she was just going on and on and on. I'm saying to myself, get the hell out of my face, right? <laughs> so I let it go on. And I'm telling you, as she was talking, my I felt my energy leaving, right? So I just said, click. I hung up the phone. And I had to pull over and block her, right? So that's the point of this video, right? Hang up the goddamn phone on some people. You know what I'm saying? I had to write some notes down. So real quick, five things. Did somebody... If you if if, if anything like this happens to you, we talking to somebody, like check this out, right? If they're yelling at you, if they're cursing at you, if they belittling you, if they get all emotional, or if they start lying on the phone, hang up the goddamn phone. Don't stay on the phone. And if you know me, I don't play that crap. Just go click. <laughs> she was like, I thought this and I thought that, and all because you know it's November. She's getting emotional, you know, whatever. Um, and you really should check out that video, Hey Stranger Seas. I really go into detail about it. But let me give you three quick stories when I really had to hang up the phone on somebody, right? <laughs> Story number one. About six years ago, I, was, I, was, I, was, I started dating this young lady. We went on two dates. The first date, I went from Mount Vernon to Brooklyn. If you know anything about New York, that's like a 45-minute drive. Met her with her. Went, play pool, went out for drinks, I paid for it, whatever. Time, gas, and energy. Second date. She came to my house, I cooked lunch. We had a good time, you know, uh, we, had, we had lunch, I cooked. We watched the movie and she left because she had something to do with her family, right? Cool. It was a Thursday and she called me at the job and she said, hey, let's go to the movie tomorrow. I said, all right, cool, no problem. I'll pay for the tickets and, I, and I'll take you out to dinner afterwards, wherever you want to go, you just pay for popcorn and soda. <laughs> she had a hissy fit. Oh, why I got to pay for popcorn and soda? You the man. You the man. I said, oh, my freaking God. So I, I said to her, so let me get this straight. You're having a hissy fit. I paid for drinks and stuff the first time and play pool. The second time I cooked, I'm saying I'll pay for the movies. And take you out to dinner and you can't pay for popcorn and soda she goes well yeah because you're the man click <laughs> i clicked that <laughs> and then i and I, I blocked her and i saw on my phone because you know if you have a block feature on your phone you can still see you call i saw all these missed calls and blocked <laughs> <coughs> damn that i i play that shit. story number two and this is this is an unfortunate one. A couple of years ago, right before my right right after my mom passed, which was what, two two or three years ago, mom rest in peace. I found out my mom had my sister and a young lady who she mentored on a cell phone plan. 
So my mother was paying for her cell phone, my sister's cell phone, and this other young lady on her cell phone plan, right? And when my mom's passed, the, the, the phone came, the phone bill came. I found that I told my sister, hey, you got you to gotta start paying your cell phone bill. I'm not paying it. That was, mom, that was mom's thing. The young lady who was a friend of the family, she had a cell phone, two tablets and all this stuff on it. I was just like, oh, no, nah, this ain't going to go down. This ain't going to go down. So long story short, she said, well, you know, who's going to pay the bill from now on? I was like, well, mom's passed. I'm not going to pay it. Keep in mind, she was so concerned about the damn cell phone bill. She didn't even ask what we doing about funeral arrangements, what we doing, in, what we doing about her place. Nothing. All she was concerned about was, was, was the damn cell phone bill. And as she started talking and all this stuff, I said, excuse me? Da -da -da. Click. <laughs> Clicked. Blocked her too. I blocked her on all social media stuff. I, I just I couldn't be bothered. I could not be bothered. I told my sister, you still want to talk to her? Cool. And it's sad because she used to talk to my cousin and they were cool and all this stuff. I blocked the ass. I ain't got no time for that BS. Story number three. Story number three. One time one of my bosses called me, right? And this is like six years ago. And he was he was he was in the wrong. He was like, Why did I why did I make a purchase of something without authorization? And it was a good purchase, but when I called him, he didn't answer his damn phone. He had a he had a habit of doing that, you know what I'm saying? So I just made a I made an executive decision. He called me up and was, Oh, why'd you do this? And you should be you should be smarter and do that. I said, excuse me? What you say? And I was triggered. I said, what? You should be smarter. I expect more from you. I said, you know what? Click. <laughs> I got the phone. He called me back. The phone disconnected. Yeah, yeah, disconnected. He said, it better have. And I was like, yeah, all right, yeah. You know, but I hung up the phone, man. You know, come to find out, I made a good decision. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, sometimes you just got to hang up the phone on people. You know what I'm saying? When it's negative energy and they talking, don't stay on the phone. Click that ass. Click. Boom. When I was in um, high school, me and my boy just played this, we played this game called Dial Tone. You know what I'm saying? The, the purpose was to get somebody to say, yo, um, somebody, somebody coming to the phone. Who? Tone. Click. You know what I'm saying? Me and my homeboy, Ron Dale, used to stay doing that. We would, we would talk about girls and sports. And a couple of times he'd be like, yo, oh, um, hold on for a second. I got I got a message from you. I go, what? He go, tone, click. Yo, hang up the goddamn phone on some people. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all are letting people sap your energy and your strength, your mental awareness. Nah, damn that shit. So <laughs> if they're yelling, cursing, belittling you, lying, or taking get on emotional on the phone, hang up the goddamn phone. <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> Anyway, guys, peace and love. Till the next video, I'm out. <laughs>